mold. There we go. Hey everybody, I wanted to say thanks for coming to part two of my front camera mod videos. And if you haven't seen part one, please check it out. But here's part two right now. Right, check it out. Um, the camera that I had on the truck, I think it was a little... Hey, Joanna. Mini, mini yeah, Mini. <laughs> she coming over here? Um, so the camera I had on the truck, it looked a little bit blurry and stuff. So I decided to get this new one by uh, Natika. So this one is pretty heavy duty. I was just holding it. And... Um, it's like a 720p camera. I mean, you can't really get high resolution too much with this AV cable, but um, you can get something out of it as far as quality. And the camera has some kind of low light um, technology that, uh, and also it's a wider um, area of video to watch. So that's why I got this. And I'm really impressed what it comes with. So it's got the long install cord right here. Of course, you need a power cable here. But look at the little supplies it comes with. It's got the little wire taps. It's got the door puller if you need it for your trunk area. Even the electrical tape and uh, zip ties. Joanna's right there, by the way. <laughs> she wants to say hi. Hi. Can I help you? Okay, careful. Go slow, watch your head. Yep. That's cool. This is Dad's truck. And birds. Oh, there's birds right there. <laughs> so, it also comes with this tapping screw and uh, double stick tape for this mount right there. So it's a perfect fit. And um, so I'll be installing this. I already have an existing camera. So I actually, I bought this on purpose with this exact wire harness. So I didn't have to do much to it. The simple idea is, is that this goes into the input of the radio. This is the power, so you have the power here. And then, depending on how you have your wiring, if you need a trigger input from the head unit, when you wire this, you can see this AV cable has wiring on both ends. So that way, you don't have to run extra power wire. It just goes all the way to your head unit, in which your head unit has the power, which I have shown earlier, how the trigger itself. Now. They also, on the camera part or on this harness, had this shorty one because you might not be going to the head unit for power. You might be actually going to um, the re reverse trigger wire off your trunk because this camera is set. <laughs> okay, Joanna. This camera is set for reverse. And the way you take it off of reverse is you cut one of these wires. So it's... Uh, if you're using a view, keep the white. So you cut the white. So the white wire, if it's reverse setting, facing backwards, you keep it. You cut it if it's front, which is my circumstance. The blue is the lines. So you keep it if you want to have those grid lines to back up. And if you don't, you would um, cut it to do without that. So I don't know if I should keep the lines. I think uh, I can cut it, always cut it, which is the easiest thing. So that's how you hook it up. That's pretty simple. So let me show you how to do it on the truck, okay? So previously I had the camera located in the grill area and I decided to bring it down to where the front sensor would be uh, if you had a 2018 or higher. And I put it there because I wanted to have a little bit of a lower angle so I can see what was approaching when off-roading. And I used a heat gun to kind of mess with that camera and wedge it in there. You don't have to do it that way. Some people will drill it or uh, the other location is uh, good for them. So I just want to point out where I had the cameras. And then later on, I actually, since I put the relentless bumper on, I ended up moving it a little bit lower. So what I did is, depending on where you're going to position your, um, your camera, uh, I had it in the grill before, but because the bumper is in the way for a downward angle, I decided to drop it down. But you're going to get it behind here, the wiring harness. Mine is this guy right here. So I'm just running that wire all the way through the side here. I'm just coming down. And I got a bunch of other wires coming through here. And then um, everything, I don't know if you can see it here. You can't. Everything's going down here underneath there. 
so then it's going all the way inside so basically route the wire where you need it to be nice and clean as possible and on the inside all you gotta do is do that RCA cable and that power cable that I showed you in part one of my video all right, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this adhesive on uh, so I don't forget all right step one done so my plan is I'm gonna do it right below the the uh, plate here or above the plate here so um actually i could go ahead and stick it but i wanted to see i can't put it right here in the middle because the logo is right there so it's not gonna be i like to put it because it would look even but it won't stick and i don't want to stick it out like this i think i'll look weird so i want to stick it semi-flush about right here so let's go ahead and just peel it stick it on all right so let's stick it I already cleaned it with alcohol, by the way. I'll make it, I don't know, flush right there. I'll be all right with that. <laughs> I don't know if you see, you show you Joanna. See her? <laughs> Joanna, stay away from the, stay inside, okay? airplane all right so that's nice and neat um, let me go ahead and run this through the bumper since I'm already here hi Joanna B so now I'll run it to the right here right here um, because I'm gonna have the winch there later so you can see my old cameras right here I'm actually just going to yank this out I uh, did a good job but I don't know it just started getting really bright looking and stuff I didn't like it so let's get rid of that guy I already have the wiring from the uh, previous setup but again it's similar you're just gonna put that in there for the harness and then let me get I don't know if you can see it it's actually short I don't know if you guys can see it let me take it out so then this other part is the AV cable goes right there like that <laughs> someone's holding a horn and um, generally you want to I just twist tight this but you generally want to crimp it or solder it or something. I twist tie it only because I tend to be uh, removing these things a lot, and especially since the winch is coming. So I'm just trying to save a little bit of time. But ideally, you want to crimp it or um, solder it, okay? And um, I had noticed before, this is the ground wire, but you don't need to grind, ground it because the RCA cable is actually its own ground for the wire. And that's how simple it is to hook the camera up. I mean really that easy at least at least on this end so um, I'm gonna test it then I'm gonna show you by cutting each of these wires what it does okay there she is trying to help clean up and play or, or do something she's probably the most organized baby I had of the, the three I don't know how number four is gonna be but um, she's pretty cute <laughs> this one here and she's actually the only girl in the family now the fourth one's a boy so the only daughter. Anyways, going back to the camera here, um, show you guys how this is gonna work. As far as quality, let's back that up, zoom a little bit. All right. Huh? Yeah. Hi. No, I'm not going anywhere. I'm not going anywhere. I'm right here. No, I'm not anywhere. <laughs> oh, she wants to climb up. Oh, okay. Hang on. Oy. Here, you sit by daddy. Sit by daddy. Oh, you don't want to sit by daddy? Okay. She just wants to climb. I think she pooped too. I'm gonna have to you poop pooped, huh? Huh? 
All right, guys, I gotta change your diaper in a second. Oh, she's just tossing everything. Okay. All right, guys, all right, back. So, this hit double mold. There it is, there's the picture. And uh, it's reversed, because my mailbox is actually over there, but it's showing reverse, so I gotta cut that wire. I'm gonna take out the lines. The lines don't work on the front. It looks kind of weird. So um, let's go ahead and I'm gonna cut those out and then um, show you how it looks after we cut everything out. Okay, we'll be right back. All right, make sure power is cut off on your um, camera stuff before you cut this stuff. So, white. Blue, cut. And then I got the other kids. All right. What are you doing, Donna? Nice. <laughs> All right. All right. Still hit mold. There we go. So there it is. Mailboxes on the right where it should be, which is right there. I don't know, you see that kind of that lag, that flip lag, but then it's up. So I'm just curious how it looks at night. Uh, camera's right there. I think I want to point it down a little bit more. That oval thing looks kind of weird, but it looks like it's pulling more of a radius for the camera because of that. So let me, uh, I'm gonna adjust this down real quick, the camera. Bring this down a little bit. I don't want to lose the. Uh... Oh, it's pretty snug. Hi. Good. All right. Double check this camera. Double tap. There it is. A little bit lower. Um, so I actually could, could lower down a little bit more so I could get more ground, I think. So let's see. Kind of like this angle a little bit. All right, double tap. I think I could do all that better. I like it so the street doesn't look crooked. <laughs> Cause that curve was kind of bugging me. What do you think? That's pretty wide angle. Um, I'll start adjusting it more. But uh, that's it. So let's just clean it up and then we're all set. So I've had this other camera out here in the dirt and mud without any issues. So this should be good. Again, uh, you, you definitely want to solder this or something instead. Not just tape it like me. But I'm going to be yanking it later because I'll be putting a winch in here. So. Please excuse the mess, but make sure you always want to cover anything exposed. I don't think this matters, but I could tape it just to tape it. So let's get that RCA cable taped up. And lastly, this power cable. So like I said, I don't think it matters in this part, but you know, we could tape it up. I don't think it has power, it's more of a ground, but uh, let's tape it up to be clean. And you can always use this later as a reverse by patching it up with lines and such, if need be. 
So the rest of it is just basically getting this back. I'm gonna tuck it back up to my wiring harness up on top here and to be a little bit cleaner with the uh, wire tie. And that's it, okay? Look at the wheel, like how far that wheel would be, the rear wheel on that, Jesse. Yeah. And the, versus the van in front of us and the wheel. Look at the distance. Yeah, we're happy to be so seated. So it's really wide. And if you're driving, you could, if you're driving off road, you can hold the up button and it'll stay on. So generally it's gonna be a 30 second time limit, but okay. if you hold it, if you keep on holding it, and it'll, it'll beep and actually lock out and you can drive with this camera on and also the reverse, so front and rear. So when I off road, I like it because I can see where I'm gonna come up on something and look how wide this is. You can wow. see that truck, that van right there is in that picture and that car is taking off and look where he's pulling. There's a lot of coverage, like 180 camera, so. All right, guys, that's about it. I want to say thanks for coming to watch part two. And if you haven't watched part one, please do. And if you guys have any questions or comments, please post below. You can find this camera on Amazon, and I'll post a link in the description as well. And thanks again for your support. And, of course, peace out.